you're a solutions man and you have actually got a, a long history in trying to solve this problem, which is why I invited you on here today. Look, you know, talk about what causes this. I've been looking at um, not just in Queensland but also in Victoria and a lot of these youth crime, they're in gangs and they're replicating the American gang culture, often modelling themselves over this modern rap music. I don't mean good rap music of the past, I mean modern rap music and modern American gang, uh, gangs. Now their parents always say, oh my child is such an angel, but these aren't angels. They're exhibiting troubling behaviour and they're listening to a troubling message every day in their music. Is this? A problem, do you think, and part of the reason why I've got a sudden youth culture and antisocial youth? Can it be part of their culture? Look, I think um, that the gang issue is a, is a big one, and no one actually really tends to be talking about that up here. They talk, they sort of mention that they're gangs, but they don't actually dive down into what um, what that actually means. I think, and yeah, perhaps if I just go to solutions, here, here's what I think they've got to do. The first thing is they need to divert police resources from going out and just, you know, doing all the stuff that police love to do these days, which is the easy targets, the middle class of Australia. Let's catch someone, you know, let's catch Alexandra for doing 66 or 67 kilometres out in a 60 zone and whack her with a fine and lose her three points. Let's, let's sort of... Let's sort of, for the moment, back off the RBTs, um, you know, though they're important... Let's have a surge in military parlance. Let's have uh, high-frequency, high-visibility patrols across our cities and towns. That's the priority at the moment for Queensland, is it's not the other thing, I say to the acting police commissioner. Um, the next thing is the, the need to uh, engage uh, through social workers on the ground, um, telling these kids and these gangs that this is what's coming that there will be diversionary programs which will see them going out to boot camps in remote parts of Queensland. There'll be no walls, no fences. There'll be adults there. There'll be no mobile phones, no air conditioning, living in a tent, having to do um, demanding, physically demanding things every day under the guidance of adults. And if you muck up there and you don't, you don't conform, you don't live with that, you'll be going to youth detention centres. And the youth detention centres will not be... You know, warm and cuddly and will not have privileges. Um, so there's a, there's a whole lot of things in terms of the way the system works. The magistrates will not be uh, letting people commit breach of bail offences and just get away with it. Uh, magistrates will have to consider um, uh, putting them away as opposed to doing everything other than put them away. Uh, other things that should be looked at are these um, uh, GPS bracelets, um, I think they should be banned from having a mobile phone or having a social media account uh, once they're, they're in trouble. So they might have been uh, convicted of a minor offence, but that's it, bam. You break, you, you break the communications. You, you, you've got to break the gang culture. Um, there might be other things they need to do in terms of uh, some of the stuff we did to break up the bikey, bikey gangs. Um, and there does need to be a real effort to for these kids who've gone into the system to when they're there, it's about um, preparing them to come out and not re not repeat offence. So we've got to actually create real pathways, real opportunities for, for kids to turn their lives around and come out and get a job. So that's about education in the jail. You know, I, I have to say this. The Labor Party have been in charge in this state since 1989, except for all the five years. It's their system, Alexandra. They created the laws, they appointed the social workers, the judges, the magistrates, the administrators of the system. Um, they listen to academics who are left-wing academics who tell us all the time about things that won't work. But I can tell you now, the stuff I'm talking about will work because where there's a will, there's a way. These are the same people who would have said and did say, you can't go over crim after criminal motorcycle gangs as you did. But guess what we did? And we reduced crime in this state by 15 to 20 per cent across the categories I was reading before. You know, where there's a will, there's a way. Um, you can turn this around if you want to. The trouble, uh, Alexandra, for the Labor Party is they don't want to and they don't like the stuff I've just said. That's the opportunity for Christopher Hall and the LNP to actually put a line in the sand and talk about, you know, things that are considered to be tough and uncompromising. Um, 
things that the Labor Party would never dare try to do. Yes, uh, and that's well, actually what the community... That's what the community want. The community want to be kept safe. So uh, th there's probably a range of other things we could talk about, but that's, broadly speaking, uh, a flavour of what I'd be doing if I was in office.